What's going on guys? Digidestin here and uh, welcome to another episode of Digidestin Pickups. Just another pickup video. I uh, didn't go thrifting that at all this week uh, really. Uh, what I did manage to do was visit a few of my uh, local retro gaming stores and uh, I was able to find a couple pieces that I didn't have for my collection uh, for reasonable prices. So first off um, I was able to find a couple PlayStation games. We have Spin Jam for PlayStation 1. And then picked up Street Fighter Alpha 3. Uh, I got it from a store that I have an account with. And uh, when you do have an account with them, you get 10% off. So you save. Uh, in Washington, we have like a 10% tax or close to 10%. Save basically tax and, and you save a little bit of money there too. I also visited another store uh, which happens to be a little bit more overpriced uh, normally. But I, I went there looking for a gift for a buddy of mine and actually I, I found it, but it was too expensive. Um, but I found a, other, a few other things that were within my price range and were actually lower than uh, eBay price or fair market value price. And uh, those were, we have a Metroid Prime Pinball for Nintendo DS and they wanted $5 for it. We have WarioWare Touched, also for $5. Uh, a little bit more of an obscure accessory. Uh, it's for the Dreamcast. It is the mouse, the Dreamcast mouse. So uh, you could use this like with the, the web browser if you have internet access, uh, other games. I think you can use this with Fantasy Star Online. So uh, it goes alongside the keyboard and uh, you plug it in. They also wanted $5 for it. During the week of EVO, uh, the fighting game tournament, uh, I Am 8-Bit released uh, a couple special editions of a uh, specific video game soundtrack on vinyl, and it was Killer Cuts. So I got two copies here, uh, both with two different types of artwork. Uh, these ones were, if I can get the glare out of it, uh, were on sale during EVO week, and they finally shipped out to me. Next pickup was from a Classifieds uh, listing. Uh, it was actually an offer up fine, again by my fiance with her sweet negotiation skills and eagle eyes. Um, this one is actually a pretty big item. It's a, it's a grail like item. Um, it is a TurboGrafx 16. So if you saw on my Instagram or my Facebook, I posted about this. But my fiance ended up finding a bundle deal with an Atari uh, 2600 with about. I don't know, 20 something games and uh, some other old console. So that's how we titled it Atari with games and some other old console. And uh, of course, you know, we were super interested. He wanted $200 for the bundle. And uh, we messaged him and, and let him know that we were interested in the whole bundle actually. And he uh, found out that the Atari didn't work. So he decided he could sell us the Turbo Graphics by itself. And uh, when we asked for a price, he said $80. Uh, we were both at work and we couldn't get to him until uh, later that night. So we actually just told him, hey, if you could save it for us, uh, we'll pay you 90 for it. And uh, of course he agreed. Uh, he even had uh, the integrity to, to tell us that um, you know, he saved it for us, but there were a whole bunch of other people hitting him up to, to try and get it. Uh, what's great about this is it comes with the controller it comes with the power cord, the official power cord, as well as the official RF adapter for it. Um, what's great, what kind of like puts the icing on the cake, the cherry on top, is it came with two games. We have Keith Courage and Alpha Zones. It doesn't come with the case, it's just the, the Who card here, or Hue card. And we also have Devil's Crush. Extremely awesome game, I've been playing this one a lot. Uh, if you're a huge pinball fan, this one's the game for you. And uh, you know, each game is about like twenty dollars, around thirty to, to fifty dollars, depending. And uh, of course, the Turbo Graphics usually sells for at least one fifty. And we were able to get all of this for ninety bucks, which is fantastic. I'm excited to have a Turbo Graphics in my collection. It's the very first time that I've had one in my in my possession, and then first time I've ever played it. Um, I had no idea it was actually uh, produced and or. It was a result of Hudson Soft wanting to get into the hardware market. So that's a very cool little 
um, piece of information, you know, a little piece of trivia. Um, but anyway, let's move on to the next set of pickups. All right, so the next pickup is kind of an odd one. It's uh, the holiday season, and a group that I'm part of uh, in my local community, Seattle Retro Gamers, uh, one person, uh, also a friend of mine, decided that he would organize a little bit of a gift exchange slash Secret Santa um, among some of the community members. And uh, I just so happened to decide to, to participate and um, I got matched up with another acquaintance, a good friend of mine actually, um, and he's helped me out a whole lot, but we exchanged gifts and uh, I have it right here. So I have a nice little Yoshi bag, both sides, eggs on it. And then even if you look at the tissue paper closely, there are some Yoshi eggs on it. So very cool. Uh, his name is uh, Steve. You can find him on Instagram and uh, YouTube as uh, Stilo999. Uh, he's an awesome collector, awesome thrifter, awesome garage sale hunter. I don't know. He's one of the the greatest uh, collectors and, and thrifters that I've uh, ever come across. You know, um, in the community, and uh, great guy. Um, and gave me this good old bag of goodies and uh, we're gonna find out what's inside so let's see take through the tissue paper first thing very cool it is a ball so uh, it's just one of those balls that you find at the I don't know like a, at a toy store uh, very soft it is Mario and Luigi dream team so I don't know if this is officially licensed. Um, it doesn't seem like it just because it's uh, crudely printed on, but it's still pretty cool just to have because I've never seen this before. Um, Mario and Luigi, that series is actually uh, a great RPG series if you uh, haven't played it. So, hit delightfully crispy cookies and this is uh, appropriate for the, the you know holiday season it's a Wii game it's we wish you a Merry Christmas I don't know what this game is about but uh, more than 10 holiday games and activities so this is definitely a game that I had to try you know before the year ends oh wow Okay, so we have a Legend of Zelda beanie here with the, the Triforce crest, the Helene crest. We have Chibi Robo Amiibo. So uh, this one, I believe what, this was the one that was packed in with the, the 3DS game. What are these? Are these? Oh, these are styluses. So these are new Super Mario Bros. styluses. Um, you can take them apart, they split in half. This one is... Looks like maybe just some notepads or something. We have a game art folio for Pokemon uh, White and Black. Oh, which is pretty cool. Awesome cards. Oh, this is very cool. You got things like uh, that. You have the three starters dreaming about things. Um, artwork of the, the character designs. The map of the region. This is very cool. Got some uh, Legend of Zelda socks. Hopefully these, these are clean. We have a shirt. Which is very cool. It's a Capcom shirt. Capcom Cup. There we go. That shirt there. We have a Super Mario 64 uh, beanbag plush. This is actually pretty cool because I used to have this uh, when I was younger. Uh, I, I went down to my local 7-Eleven down the street. I would walk there 
and they sold uh, Nintendo 64 plushies. And this was one of the ones that they had, and this is the one I bought alongside a, a Toad. So this is very cool to have, again, in my collection. Um, I don't have it anymore, but now I do. Awesome. A Yokai Watch pin. Promotional pin, I believe. And then this thing, which looks homemade. Uh, it is, looks, or appears to be Kirby uh, in a, a Totoro suit, which is pretty cool because I'm, I'm a fan of Miyazaki. Uh, I don't know if he, he and his family made this uh, specifically for me. Um, if they did, a huge thank you. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, if they didn't and they just had it lying around, either way, huge thank you. It's awesome. Um, but yeah, that's very cool. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Kirby, uh, my favorite franchise. Uh, Miyazaki is probably one of my favorite animators and uh, Studio Ghibli as well. I'm, I'm in a huge debt to, and to him because this is an extremely gener generous uh, gift that he's given me for the gift exchange. Uh, I feel kind of bad because I wish I could have provided him more cool stuff just like this. Um, but the other thing he ended up giving me uh, for this gift exchange is and it's kind of unbelievable. It is this here. So this is a Super Nintendo Super Scope box, but it is brand new. So it's never been used. It's never been folded. Um, he had a whole bunch of these over in uh, Portland Retro Gaming Expo and he was selling them at his table. And um, he just so happened to have an extra of it. And when he, this couldn't fit in the bag obviously, but when he did give me the bag, uh, he said that this was part of it too and like kind of blew me away. This is, this is awesome. Never thought that I would have something like this a, a brand new uh, box for for anything really um, but this is very cool uh, again thank you so much to to Stilo uh, Steve uh, good friend of mine um, I'm really glad that I, I met you um, buying Nintendo powers off you off offer up um, hopefully uh, you enjoyed the gifts that I gave you just as much as I'm Enjoying the ones that you've provided me today, and uh, yeah, I mean, I, I can't can't say any more to to show you how appreciative I am of being part of this community and, and knowing you and, and 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 all that good stuff. So that's that's it for the the gift exchange. Um, but I do have one more thing to show you guys, and uh, this is another another big one. Let's let's put some of the stuff back in the bag first. Last thing I have here is this box. It's a nice big old box. Um, this is a shipment or package that I received from Japan, from Osaka. Um, a friend of mine referred me to acquaintance of his or uh, another friend of his that is stationed over in, in Osaka and uh, he deals in imports. You can actually find him at uh, Tozai Japan. So I'll leave a, a link in the description below. You can find him on Twitter. Um, I don't know if he has a storefront, but um, that's his handle. You could probably tweet him and, and he'll get your message that way. I went back and forth a lot with a buddy of mine, with my fiance, whether or not I should pick this up. And um, obviously uh, I ended up buying it and uh, what's great is not only do I receive this item but the guy that did sell it to me uh, is an awesome person he's, he's a great guy and I feel like uh, I made a new friend by dealing with him so I ordered newspaper oh wow this is awesome we got candy. I ordered candy. This is great. 
so we have uh, a few things here. Uh, the first two things we have these two. It's a uh, Mario Artist or Mario Paint Artist Studio and a uh, Pixel Studio. I believe that's what they're called, and uh, they are for the N64. And uh, if you look at the the bottom left corner, it says N64DD. So that's kind of a a hint as to what is to come. Uh, we also have this item here. Another DD game. Yeah, I think this one, I forgot what it's called. It's a, it's a Japanese name, uh, but has something to do with giants. The item of the hour, or uh, one of the items of the hour, because we've had lots of great things in this video, the turbo graphics, the, the super scope box. Um, and this just so happens to be the last one I'm showing you. This is a Nintendo 64 DD in the box. The, uh, the Ramnet starter kit. Tozai, Japan, you know, these extremely uh, professional. Um, it's taken a lot of care in, in wrapping it, protecting, protecting it, making sure it's got getting to me in the shape that he showed me. And um, extremely fast shipping. He Got it to me in five days from Japan, which is crazy. So here we go. Uh, here it is. Um, so if you don't know what a DD is, it is a console accessory to the Nintendo 64. Um, it plugged into the bottom of your Nintendo 64, and uh, they call it DD because it stands for disk drive. I believe that's what it uh, stands for. And um, this was initially planned to release in Europe and and Nintendo or in the US um, but eventually got scrapped and it only lasted in Japan and uh, I believe due to marketing reasons and um, like development like third-party development reasons uh, it didn't really take off so the box is in great shape Here we have the two manuals in Japanese all right so it comes with uh, this stuff here so this is the jumper pack and um, what's funny is uh, the DD will not work without an expansion pack so normally this would come with an expansion pack but I think he just threw in a jump and jumper pack because and uh, we have this thing here and this is actually a, a modem so you plug this into the top of your standard Nintendo 64 and you have a phone line that plug it in and uh, you plug that into the cartridge itself in the back and uh, you plug it into your phone line and it allows you to surf the internet so this was a little bit um, advanced for this type of you know this type of hardware uh, which is pretty cool um, this is also supposed to come with a disc uh, another disc that you would you know plug into your your DD and it would allow you to surf the internet uh, while using this cartridge so uh, it's missing that but other than that you know it's fairly fairly complete so it comes with a little uh, jumper pack puller so this is a little tool that you use to pull up the jumper pack or expansion pack without having to uh, use a screwdriver or ruin your uh, Nintendo 64 yeah, so this is the unit. Um, there's a little cover, or a cover, yeah, a cover at the bottom of your Nintendo 64. Um, it, you can take it off. Um, what's funny is there's nothing in the US that plugs into the bottom of it. So uh, for the longest time, I, I was trying to figure out why does the Nintendo 64 have that port if nothing plugs into it. And uh, this is one of the reasons. So uh, this plugs into that. Uh, you have screws down here, so it screws into the bottom of the console. And uh, this is the disc port. So uh, what happens is 
you take your your disc game and they call it a disc because the the cartridges are essentially floppy disks you know they're there's you know a disc on the inside and I uh, just slide it in there and it plugs in right there just locks into place and when you're ready to um, you know, eject, you hit the eject button, slides right out, and you're, you're good to go. I believe this system only had like 13 or so games, games in this library, um, but it is a pricey a collection to, to try and go for, uh, just because um, a lot of the units are extremely rare and hard to find as well as the games. Another fantastic thing I want to bring up about uh, this DD and um, the box itself and, and everything that it came with is uh, it actually has matching serial numbers. So you can see here in gray the DJ 103403 there. And if you look at the bottom of the unit it also says uh, DJ 103403 so it's a matching set uh, which is also very rare uh, to find um, together so uh, this is a very cool thing to have in my collection um, I'm definitely going to be trying it out to see if it works uh, over here and hopefully I can learn some more about it so uh, this is more or less uh, a pricey purchase to to learn more about uh, this this retro video game um, subject matter that, that I so dearly enjoy. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to have this in my collection. Uh, hopefully, it's something I can enjoy and um, and learn more about and expand my knowledge about Nintendo and Nintendo 64 and and just retro video games in general. So. Um, yeah, I mean, thanks for watching, guys. If you did like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, again, big thanks to my fiance for, you know, always finding me great deals on on OfferUp and the classifieds and and everywhere else, you know, in thrift store. Um, huge thanks to Stilo nine 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 for extremely generous gift and and everything he's hooked me up. Uh, hooked me up on and then uh, of course Tozai Japan for sending me this Nintendo 64 DD Radnet uh, starter kit so um, yeah if I don't, I don't know what else to say this has been an awesome week uh, next week's probably not gonna be as good <laughs> but anyway yeah we'll, we'll see you guys on the next one all right so I got my Nintendo 64 here. It's the one I use for my daily gaming. And if you look on the bottom, you got that little cover for the port. It says EXT for an extension, I believe. Uh, take that off and you have this port here. And lo and behold, you have this mail port. So, what we're gonna do is, boop, it right on top so there you have it and I have my expansion pack so should be ready to go that we're gonna try one of these Mario Paint games so we're just gonna insert it there turn it on oh. This is awesome. I can finally live out my dream of becoming a makeup artist. <laughs>